Hi, everybody. Yesterday, I showed you some levels for SMCI, and I want you to see how they work. So yesterday, I showed you that if the 471 gets broken, the next support I have is about 311 and the 100 day moving average, which come came out to uh, on the weekly graph, well, came out around 380. This is a daily graph. Okay, so as you could see, yesterday we fell to somewhere around uh, right below 400, I think it was 397. They kind of cheated a little bit to get everybody short there. And then they ran back up today. Where did they hit today? Look at this. Exactly at that last number that I was talking to you guys about. This is an algorithm that I built, which tells me major levels based on volume, uh, Fibonacci's, waves, and so on. A lot of technical analysis involved. So 471 is the 47172 is the number. Let me show you what happened intraday, and I'll show you how you could take positions like this. The very volatile stock, right? So if the stock opened here, came out pre-market, it was trading low because of NVIDIA's earnings, it was started day 434, and we're running up 40 points. It's about 10%, uh, right, give or take, in a $400 stock. Um, so, you know, we went up about 9%, and we spoke about the areas 471, 72. Now, because it's a very volatile stock, they're going to probably hit the number or a little bit before the number, and they might even run up the number through the number a little bit to try to get people along. Okay, so what I usually do is I split my order into three levels. So I know I could at least get one of these fills. I'll usually put it a little bit below the number, a little bit at the number, and the next one a little bit above the number. Today I happen to have gotten, I think the high was 475.33. I got 474, I think around 50 something was the last fill I had which was a great average, came out to over 472 um, on average. And then it just started falling down within minutes. And you could also see the wick on a one minute, on a one minute candle. The wick also helps you identify that this could have been the top, just like over here, there were wicks. So that is also a good sign. And it didn't give me a reason to cover all the way till about right here, 461 more or less. There were no... Uh, it was just red candle after red candle. And then afterwards, I had to make a decision how to control the rest of the trade. And as you can see, you know, it just kept on falling with a nice trend line, even broke the VWAP and so on. So that's how you could trade uh, volatile stocks. It is very, very dangerous. You need to learn how to do it. I advise you to do it on a demo until you figure this out. It takes years of training on looking at charts and understanding how the volatility works. Hope you enjoyed this video, SMCI. So far, the trend is down. We'll see what happens next. Uh, so if you guys don't forget to do a subscribe, and if you need help uh, learning how to trade, it's galtrades.com. Have a great day.